guys, how are you? Hope you're well, I'm, I'm okay. Apart from it being miserable and wet outside. How British am I? I feel the need to comment on the weather at the beginning of every video, don't I? Um, but I guess they, they sort of breathe that into us. Um, uh, anyway, this is gonna be my um, July makes. Uh, there's not that many because I haven't been a very productive sewer. Um, I've got quite a few things cut out, but I've only finished three things and one of them I'll be showing you in my next video um, because I'm going to review the Sew Over It um, online trouser sewing course. Um, so I was going to like work through it, um, make the carry trousers and the ultimate trousers and show you both of them in the review. Um, I finished my carry trousers. I'll give you a little sneak peek because I've got them here. Um, that's backwards. Um, uh, and just in a navy and cream fabric. And I am on my second toile of the ultimate trousers. Um, it's probably still going to be at sort of wearable toile stage when I do um, the video um, and not my, my finished lovely black and white polka dot pair that I'm hoping to, to make. Um, but anyway, that's the next video. We're talking about this video. So yes, I've only actually got two finished things to show you today. Um, the first is my top. This is an attempted hack of the Grainline Scout to make it into an off the shoulder top. Um, it worked quite well, um, but I do need to make a, a slight change before my next run. All I did to make it was cut the top of the sleeve off just above the notches and the top of the front and back bodice pieces in the same place. Um, I didn't, I don't think I cut it off high enough. I should have added left a little bit more above the notches because it's, it is digging into my armpit slightly. So for the next one I will um, add a little bit more space. But I really like it anyway. I'm a big fan of the shoulder things and, and always have been. Always, probably not always. Um, so like if I didn't sew, I would be so pleased with the shops these days and how many off the shoulder things they have. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's just sewn up as a, a scout normally is, but you don't have to do the binding, which made it a really, really quick sew. I'm quite quite slow and I sort of pootle about, I've said that a few times, um, I get distracted easily um, so it tends to take me longer to sew something than it's supposed to. Um, but this I finished, it probably took me two hours, probably, um, but I had a big, I had a break. I'd sewed most of it and then I was just sort of at the hems and elastic stage and then I had a gap so I'm not really sure how long it took me entirely. So it was quick so I've got another one planned, I really like it and yeah, I'll get on to the second one. Um, I'm going to have to sort of run away for the second one um, because it is my Winslow Clots. I suppose palazzo pants is probably the correct term for these. Um, I won't stay all the way over here in case you can't hear me. Um, hopefully you can can see, let's see. Um, they've just got a straight waistband, um, big pleats, front and back, and a centre back zip. The pattern is supposed to have pockets, but I left them out. Hang on. If I just do more twirling, and then I will sit and talk about it. And a little bit of a spoon. I love these, they're so squishy, they're so comfortable. I've worn them a couple of times and I would have lived in them if it wasn't rainy. Back to the weather. Um, oh, sorry, sit down again. Um, I made these with the um, little ditzy heart viscose that I showed you in my haul video. I will put a still in here because I'm trying to get my leg all the way up there to show you the fabric probably won't work. Um, yes, yeah, so it's little mint and cream heart viscose and it's, it's really good fabric for these because it's a more weighty viscose. The pattern is by Helen's Closet. It's her first um, garment pattern. 
I follow Helen on Instagram, so when she started posting pictures of um, her sample versions, I, I really liked them. And then when she posted the Palazzo pants version, I knew I really, really wanted them. I almost signed up to um, volunteer to test, which I don't tend to do because as I was just saying, I'm really slow. And I don't think I'd be very good at giving feedback because I'm still reasonably new, I don't know if it's because I'm new to sewing or if it's just my personality, if there are things wrong I will, like if I mess something up I would blame myself. I don't feel like I have the knowledge to say whether something is drafted right or not. I mean I, I know they want um, opinions on how well the instructions are written and if there's missing notches and things like that. So I suppose maybe I wouldn't be entirely useless as a pattern tester but it just I don't know, it feels like a lot of pressure. So I have never volunteered before, but I really wanted this pattern, so I nearly volunteered. Um, but I, I was too late anyway, um, because it filled up so quickly, because lots of other people clearly th thought the same as me. Um, so I just signed up to be notified when the pattern was released, and I bought it instantly, and it bumped itself straight up to the top of my, in my sewing list, even though there are lots of other things that I've I had planned to, to sew first, um, but yes, I really, really love them. They're squishy and floaty and comfortable. Um, I should have shortened um, between the crotch and the waist a little bit, just because I am petite and so the crotch, <laughs> talking about my crotch on the internet. Yes, so I am petite, so I'm, I think I'm quite short in that, that part of the body. They were a really quick sew, the instructions are great um, from what I've followed of them because I can't comment on the, the pockets and things like that because I didn't didn't sew them. Um, I have thought about um, for my next version maybe trying to draft some front slash pockets like um, are on the carry trousers. Where are they? Sorry, these need iron so you possibly can't see but there's a front slash pocket there. Um, so I was going to use those trousers as a guide to maybe add them to these. Um, but then I might not. All I really use pockets for is to put my hands in. Okay, I think that's about it from me because I've banished my poor man friend to the bedroom um, and he's probably getting hungry. Um, but if I've forgotten anything that you wanted to know, then please ask, ask away in the comments and I'll be happy to answer anything. I'll put links to patterns, fabric, um, my blog with more details um, about the collots. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. If you've liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like more, then hit subscribe. Have a great day, weekend, week, evening, whatever time it is where you are. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.